The other day I was in my shop digging through my very large collection of offcuts and scraps to find some inspiration when I came across this piece of walnut on the top shelf. It's got this giant crack down the middle of it, so I figured let's cut into two pieces, glue them together and make a little organizer that will also charge my electronics. Oh wait 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 wait, wrong pencil. There we go, much better. Alright, now let's get this bad boy cut and surfaces cleaned up. Okay, the surfaces are nice and smooth now, so let's spread some glue on it and clamp them up. Well, there's really not much left to do now except wait for the glue to dry, so let's go for a walk. <sighs> Lazy dog. Well, at least the glue's dry, so now let's pour the epoxy. But first, I'm gonna tape up the cracks on the sides to keep things nice and clean. Once the cracks all filled up, we gotta wait again for this thing to cure. Approximately 10 hours later. Okay, epoxy cured. Now let's get rid of the tape and get the surfaces cleaned up through the planer and the table saw. Alright, I cut the part to its final size, so now my favorite part, cutting bevels. I did this by tilting the blade at different angles for each cut and also swapping between my miter gauge and the tapering jig so to create some random compound angles. And it is so satisfying to watch as this thing start to take shape, oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, with the block of wood cut to its final shape, now let's work on the template. But first, let's figure out the size and layout of the pockets for holding these fun things. Okay, got my measurements, now let's lay it out. Planning done, now let's get these cut. For this, I first made a hole in each of the slots and then removed the rest of the material using my jigsaw. Alright, alright, so my jigsaw skill isn't that great, but that's why they meant to sandpaper, right? Anyways, after I smoothed out my cuts, I taped the template to the workpiece using some of this nasty carpet tape, and then used the Forstner bit to remove the bulk of the material. Yeah, hunting's on my bed, texting with the bill, roses in my wallet and I'm flexing it for- Yeah, I know it doesn't look very good right now, but no worries, let's clean it up with the router and this half inch bit. Getting moody over here, hunting's on my bed, texting with the bill, roses in my wallet and I'm flexing it for real. Now I'm going to switch over to the bow and tray bit to clean up those sharp corners left by the previous operation. Okay, pocket's done. And now back at the drill press, let's cut a hole to store my Apple Pencil and then make some slots for holding the cables. Sticking off the wall, but tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be my and of course, each cable is gonna need a recess and a groove on the bottom to exit out of the back of the organizer, which I cut with a Forstner bit and a router bit respectively. I'm gonna make me stay. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I the organizer is finally finished. Now let's give it a good sanding all over and then apply some poly on top to protect it. Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me. 
finally, the last thing left to do is slap some rubber pads on the bottom to keep it from slipping and install the wires. Now enjoy some beauty shots and I'll see you guys next time. Drive a faster car